Toyota Tundra is already on the road and in customer hands. And today we're in Northern California to experience the next chapters in the Tundra story. That means our first look at the top of the line capstone trim and our first chance to experience the new iForce Max hybrid powertrain. We're gonna do both those things and more, so stick around. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also follow us and interact with us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Capstone is a new thing for Toyota and for the Tundra, but it's already spreading to other models because we just saw it on the 2023 Sequoia, which we filmed yesterday. That video is right there, by the way. In short, Capstone is everything Toyota can throw at this thing. Every premium feature that's available on the interior and some much louder exterior styling. That means chrome. Lots and lots of chrome. The Tundra wins some brownie points for me because I think it's just honestly a really handsome looking truck. The lighting signature when it's on is just very bold and strong and from the front, this thing dead on, it looks great. Capstone does some individual things. That means we get a mixture of bright work and black on the chrome, some huge Tundra lettering down here. And in this case, a blue Toyota badge because this has the iForce Max powertrain. And if the blue badge didn't give it away for you, then this giant iForce Max badge on the side of the truck will. All right, quick walking tour of the side profile here. Chrome on the outside of the mirrors, a nice capstone logo on the side of the truck. There's more chrome on the door handles and on this trim piece that traces around the window. By the way, nice detail is standard power running boards that fold out as soon as you open the door. For short people like me, that makes a lot of sense. Then we get to the wheels, 22 inch chrome and black wheels. This is where you lose me. Not my favorite design element. I think the wheels on the Platinum, TRD Pro and Limited just look a lot better, a little bit more dialed down. It wouldn't be a full-size truck review if we didn't talk about tailgate party tricks. Admittedly, the Tundra doesn't have too many of them, at least compared to an F-150 or a Silverado. There is an Easter egg baked right here into the tailgate. So you're walking up to your truck, your hands are full of groceries or just big items you need to throw in the bed. You can bump up against this little button, use your elbow too, and the tailgate drops right down. They also incorporated the side step, which automatically pops out just like the running boards do and it makes it really easy to get into the bed. There's a nice 120 volt outlet straight across from me, some bed illumination and these little sliding hooks which go back and forth and you can tie things down. The capstone is only available with a five and a half foot bed, at least for now, there's no option for a six and a half foot. These days, full-size truck interiors are basically like luxury cars, but if you're hoping that the capstone is like a Lexus on the inside, it falls a little short. We have these two-tone semi-aniline leather seats. Now the seats themselves are nice and they're very supportive when you drive, but look at the center console here. It's already starting to discolor. White as a choice for this just doesn't work. It's a touch point where your arm is constantly moving and it's gonna get grubby really fast. I prefer the touches or the finishing points in the lower spec Tundras, to be honest with you. The Limited, the Platinum, they just have materials that make more sense in a truck. That's really where my complaints end, to be honest with you. The infotainment is wonderful. I'm gonna be singing this thing's praises for Toyotas and Toyotas to come. This is a ground up redesign for Toyota infotainment and I love it. I mean, first of all, just look at this screen. It's huge, even for a full size truck. It's a 14 inch center touch screen paired with a digital gauge cluster in front of me. It's not just the size, it's quick to respond with everything you do, and it's all just laid out in a way that makes sense. You wanna put in a destination in the navigation? Just hit the magnifying glass right there and type it in. Or you can use the voice assistant, which works, well, you know, most of the time. Then go down to music here. There's different sources. Right now it takes Apple Music and Amazon Music. No Spotify just yet, but they say that could be coming with an OTA update relatively soon. And the rest of it is just car settings and other things, but overall this infotainment is a huge step forward for the Tundra. I just love it. Welcome everybody to behind the wheel of the new Tundra. Anybody who's been paying attention, you'll notice that this is a different truck. We stepped out of the capstone and into a platinum trim. Today is not about driving a platinum trim though necessarily. This is about experiencing the optional powertrain with the Tundra and Toyota is calling that the iForce Max. That's a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 and it also happens to be a hybrid. Compared to the standard engine, a little bit better power, a little bit better efficiency, and a very comparable tow rating that's pretty much negligible back and forth. This has 437 horsepower, 583 pound-feet of torque, so I'm talking 48 horsepower more, 104 pound-feet more, and the fuel economy, 
two miles to the gallon combined better over the standard engine. That's a lot of numbers. What is this actually about on the road? You think hybrid and maybe you're thinking, oh, this is you know all about efficiency. It's not very strong. Not the case. Toyota built this as a hybrid for performance reasons. This is about having a truck with the most robust torque curve possible and one that feels powerful at low and high speeds. This stretch of highway right now is a good place to test that out. A little bit of foot into it. <laughs> and you notice two things at once. The first is that the power really is there. 437 is a great number for a truck this size. Yeah, it is quick, it is engaging. From stoplight to stoplight or highway speeds right now, there's a good amount of power that comes from this engine. The other bit that I wasn't necessarily expecting is it actually makes kind of a good noise. You kind of hear it. Those of you who are V8 diehards and are saying you don't want a twin turbo six in your full size truck, this makes some good noises. It's a nice uh, extra touch that Toyota added and you can tell they spent a lot of time tuning it for truck people that want to get some noise out of their engine. It's paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission which has been the Robin to the engine's Batman the entire day. It's really calm, subdued. It hasn't gotten in my way one time. I'm really impressed uh, with the tuning. It seems to step in with the electric motor just as you need more power, but doesn't hold on to revs any longer than it has to. I'm impressed by the sight lines in this truck. I know that's sort of a weird thing to point out. I'm not the world's tallest person. So for me, in a vehicle that's this big, it's important that I can see where I'm going. The mirrors are not huge and ridiculous, but they're good size and I can see the entirety of the truck behind me. First impressions of iForce Max. I love the power. I love that it goes between EV and gas mode really without a hitch. And in terms of performance, this is a great feeling truck. The power is available at low and high speeds and the powertrain for as advanced and somewhat complicated as it is, feels refined and it feels good. Is it worth $3,400 with only marginal gains and fuel economy and really no extra towing capability? Well, I guess that part's up to you. So back to the whole platinum versus capstone thing. We've been spending our day today crawling around both of them and we realized something. The platinum, you can add the power running boards. The interior actually feels like it's going to stand the test of time a little bit better. And the exterior does away with all of that tacky chrome that looks just a little bit too much on the capstone. That's before you talk about money too. This platinum right here, $63,000 to start with four wheel drive. That's 10 grand less than the capstone. It feels like you're not getting what you need for that amount of money. So we're actually ending today on what I think is a pretty useful bit of consumer advice. Buy one of the middle tier Tundras, dress it up the way you want, and you're getting a much more compelling truck for the money. Thanks for watching.